What's going on YouTube? So right before we get started, I want to let you guys know that Megadap Adapter, they did send this adapter to me for evaluation, but they don't have any say on my opinion about their products. And also, I'm not a Sony shooter, so I went out to grab three Sony lenses and I brought out the 35mm 1.8. I brought out a 50 millimeter 1.8 and also a third party Sigma 24 millimeter 1.4 E mount lens. And uh, yeah, this is very interesting because we have, it's usually a DSLR on a mirrorless, right? We have mirrorless lenses on a mirrorless body. Weird, right? Um, yeah, there's no firmware update for the Sony or the Sigma to communicate with the Nikon Z and that's where the Megadap adapter comes into play. And let me tell you guys, when I was shooting photography with this adapter, it was flawless, especially when I was on Instagram. Everything worked it so well. The eye track thing worked it just fine. I didn't see any hiccups at all. So if you're using this for photography, these three lenses works just fine. Now, when shooting video and comparing it with a Canon R6, that's when things starts to heat up because now we're comparing with a native lens on lens, Canon R6 with their native lenses and also with their native adapter versus a Nikon Z with the Megadap adapter and also with these Sony lenses. Now, there was an issue with my 50 millimeter 1.8. It kept drifting off a lot. Just autofocus wasn't doing too well all the time. And then a lot of you guys were letting me know that the 50 millimeter 1.8 that I picked up was not the best lens for Sony. I thought maybe I picked up a bad lens, but you guys were definitely telling me that this lens right here is not a good lens. So I went online to see the lens review on this particular 50 millimeter 1.8. And then it turns out there's a lot of people that don't like the autofocus on this lens, especially in video. It is pretty bad. So that tells me that not every Sony lens out there is made equal. There's the good lenses and there's the bad lenses and the way to find out is to read the reviews or find reviews about those lenses. With that said, I'm gonna let you guys know about my whole experience on the video autofocus on the 24, 35 and 50 mm 1.8 versus the Canon. With the 24, it worked it just fine. It worked it pretty good. I was, I was surprised. Sure, there was slight hiccups here and there, but it was not that noticeable at all. It worked there really responsive. Now, with low light, it seems to work also just fine, which is really nuts. I, I don't know what is going on there, but it just, it worked there pretty good. I'm like kind of surprised that even a E mount on a Z mount, E mount on a Z mount worked it just fine at low light. Now. With the 35, it also worked it pretty great as well. There was no crazy issues. I mean, you guys can definitely see the test at the end of this video, but I didn't see a lot of problems during good lighting. And also during the low light session, I did not notice a huge difference between the 35 millimeter Sony Z mount on the E mount versus the Canon R6. And as for the 50 millimeter, um, it did not work that well. So. It was, yeah, it was heartbreaking. I did so many tests where it just started to do that little slow autofocus thing and it just get stuck there. And that's just a Sony lens. So before you guys end up buying these, you know, Sony lenses, make sure you guys know which lens is actually good in autofocus because if you buy a Sony lens that has known to be a bad autofocus lens and you slap it on this Nikon Z with Megadap, it's not gonna make it better. It's going to be as worse as it was on a Sony body, right? So keep all that in perspective. Make sure you look for the good autofocus lenses by Sony before you start buying all these lenses for the Nikon. So I learned that the hard way right here. So apologies, Megadap. I did them no just with the 50 millimeter right there, but I told you guys that it was not the adapter's fault, it was the lens's fault for that portion, the 50 million 1.8. But all in all, the E mount to the Z mount is such a great idea. I hope they make one for the RF to the Z mount. That would be pretty awesome, actually. But anyways, I'm gonna end my video right here. I'm gonna let you guys see the whole entire unedited testing samples. And uh, if you guys can do me one favor is, uh, Please watch this all by yourself because I get those messages from your loved ones. They would tell me that my boyfriend or my wife is watching you working on a mannequin for the last 10 minutes. I don't understand what's going on. And uh, it's a little trippy for me. Just a little trippy. But anyways, thank you guys for checking me back. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely click like and subscribe. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. All right. Take it easy and enjoy the test. Peace.